So everyone, right, this part of this video, you're gonna join me doing some custom work to the E30. Hey! Actually, before, before we jump into all of that, let me catch up with you guys real quick. So, here are actually, you're gonna see them in the background. This is my original E30 front wings. Focus on me again. Let me see if I can set this to just focus on me. Yeah, there you go. So, these are my original E30 front wings. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. The current ones that I've got at the moment, as you guys might remember from my old videos, is uh, fiberglass replicas. And they look quite good. In fact, I'm gonna jump out to the garage in a second to show you guys what the car's looking like right now, because some of you might think I've completely forgotten about that car, which I haven't. So yeah, I'm looking at making some complete custom front arches for my E30. In fact, it's not gonna just be the front, it's gonna be the rear as well and I'm gonna go for what I think is gonna be a very unique, funky, cool, like, oh, I'm just trying to think that. It's inspired by a lot of other um, wide arch kits at the moment, but I want something that's gonna really make the E30 pop, stand out, and be completely different from all the others. So yeah, at the moment, let's jump into what I've been doing. So real quickly, what I've had to do at the moment is, well, Obviously, I've got the front wings out, which they're just over there, and I've had to purchase a few things. So, number one, I've bought some blue, like, painter's tape, 3M. So, these basically last for a couple of weeks. Now, this shouldn't really be on the front wings for that long, but worst case scenario, if they have to be on there, at least I've got a couple of weeks to play around with. Other thing that I've bought, let me just grab that. Some expanding foam so yeah because I'm not 100% sure of what the actual arches are gonna look like I'm gonna play around with the expanding foam um, I've done some sketches and things like that of what I think I want them to look like now doing sketches and actually seeing it in real life completely different thing I know some people are really good at art and they can do all these crazy forms of illustrations and stuff like that on the computer that's just not me at the moment so until then this is what I'm gonna to like to do because I actually am pretty sure I'm gonna like what I end up coming up with. So I've got some cards set up because I'm gonna use it to kind of shape a little bit of where the expanding form's gonna go. I don't want it to go completely crazy. I want it to kind of stay roughly where I'm putting it all. And then now I'm just waiting for this all to dry. I'm gonna mask it all up and then get it ready. But yeah, these 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 two things I went and bought from I think it was Homebase or being I think it was being cute. Um, obviously, you guys, if you're gonna look at doing something similar, you can just go to your normal Home Depot and get them. Now let's jump outside so I can show you guys what the E30 is like at the moment. Ah, oh, doesn't it look all kinds of sad? Right, let's jump in. It's gonna be a tight squeeze going through there. And yep, there was all the lights turned on. Uh, the GTR is kind of taking up where the E30 should be sitting in the near future. But there's the E30. So let's talk about that real quick. This is where the E30 has been parked for the last couple of weeks. Now there's a whole lot of stuff all over the bonnet of it. Reason being is because these are all things that I've actually taken off the car and they need to get put somewhere. So until I find somewhere decent to put them all and keep them all safe, I don't want to just leave them somewhere random in the garage because that always leads to all kinds of problems for me. So that's why they're left there at the moment. So from the last video you guys would have seen in this car, it was me basically ripping out the interior as much as I could at that time, uh, giving it a good clean up and everything and getting it ready for an interior restoration. Now that's still going to be happening. I'm waiting for my brother's Skyline to either be moved and swapped with this or be taken away for its work to get done. Basically, I'm just waiting for my brother's car to be moved for the time being. Now, with the E30 then, I need space basically. Where it is right now, I can't work around the car, so that's the annoying thing. And I don't want to leave it outside because British weather, well, we all know what British weather can be like, and it's not that very good to us all the time. So, that's basically where the E30 is at the moment. Up over the next few weeks, I'm going to look at doing the front arches, so getting them shaped up and everything like that. I am going to most likely get them done in fiberglass afterwards, 
which would be cool it's going to be something completely different for me I've never actually created my own arches or anything so it's going to be an amazing journey for me and I literally am so excited like I'm coming across nice and cool right now but it's something really new and different for me and I think yeah it's just going to be something that I actually really really am excited to share with you guys because I like to think of myself as definitely a creative person someone who thinks outside the box and my dreams with the E30 is I want to be able to park it against some crazy crazy cars and it gets as much attention as the other cars do you know it's 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 going to be a show slash cruiser that I just want to just enjoy as much as I can and yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to make it a show queen where I just park it up or anything like that hell no that car this car is going to get driven a lot okay so <laughs> that's definitely going to happen right so yeah front arches I'm going to start ripping out more of the interior once I get these cars swapped around and then I'm going to also look at mocking up what I want to do with the rear arches so with the front arches, they're going to basically fit on, going to get bolted on, um, and then with the rear, I'll show you what's kind of happened now. Now, I've spoken to a lot of people that do body work with these cars, and the one thing that they've all told me is, is try not to blend fiberglass with metal. Now, I kind of thought I'd get away with that, and I think in all fairness, I probably could repair the rear arches at the moment. But because of the idea that I wanted for the front arches and I want the car to be about an inch wider each side so that's looking at two inches both sides um, like in total which you know every inch counts <laughs> I think it would just add that bit more wider of a stance it's gonna make it just pop a little bit more it might even be more than an extra inch I think it might be uh, one and a half maybe even two inches but I'm gonna make the arches first see how the front ones look and then go from there for the rear as well so yeah i think we should look into what's happened with the rear arches so as you guys can tell the front it's kind of all right you know it blends nicely enough over here and because they're bolt on it's all good it's all right it doesn't have any form of issues in terms of what it would look like if it was painted and whatnot the only areas really i could think of is these um, on the when I got the car those areas were broken so I had to basically make them up myself and deal with it that way hopefully we'll never have to do that again now the fitment with the alloys are really nice at the moment I think if the car was a little bit lower it would look even better but that's all right fair game for me because the car's gonna get lowered I think I'm gonna put it on airbags and I'm gonna get some wider wheels going on it so yeah let's go look at the rear So these are the cracks. Ow! Ow! Freaking got some fiberglass or something going into my fingers. So as you guys can see, if I let it focus, so this crack going all the way up here, and then starting around here as well, it stops. Then starts again around here and goes all the way down. It's the same thing on the other side as well. As you can see, just see it there. This side's a lot worse because it goes all the way across. Let me squeeze through here. So that's the reason why the car is getting a complete overhaul. Which is kind of contradictory with everything that I'm telling everyone to do in my old videos as to how to do it. Technically it is how to do it, but it's also not the right thing to do. Because the temperatures and everything like that of how the paint work and body deal with it are completely different. Paint on fiberglass heats differently than paint on metal. So as the temperature goes from hot to cold, blah blah blah, these expand and contract at different rates which is why you get cracks like that it's basically one of those things where everyone's just like look it's just not really worth it so I'm gonna completely scrap that basically not scrap it I think if I really wanted to I could fix them all up and bolt them on that way which is something that I might look at doing with the rear but let's see how it goes and so that's basically the main areas of the wings masked up 
because I'm kind of see what area I'm planning to white out. Ha ha ha. Right, so now I gotta quickly jump into the skyline to get some engine oil for the 6 Series. <laughs> good. It's a good feeling with this car. I love it. Oh, how I have missed driving this car. Man, it feels so good. That did look nice. Alright, got the oil. So now that I've got the engine oil for the six years, I'm not going to top it up right now. I um, want the car to be warmed up, want to check the levels and everything like that on, pro on it properly first before I do anything like that. But for the time being, I'm actually going to recheck everything that I've done with tightening up the wheels basically on the car. I need to make sure they're all tight before I keep driving the car everywhere. So yeah, let's do that. Just to show everyone real quickly, I've masked off as you can see. The whole wing, um, I was going to actually do a bit where I was going to cardboard off the surrounds and stuff of where I think it wanted to be. But I think because of the actual shape and everything like that and I wanted to kind of follow this line going across here and stuff. To get the cardboard to exactly fit there it's a bit useless so I'd rather build up some more foam and stuff there and work my way down to this point. Obviously going to be smart about it and not going to go massively over but you know um, I think that would just be a safer and better way of doing it. Then along with that um, put this piece on obviously this is definitely going to try and stay with the line of the wheel and so that's just a bit safer and better that way. But I'm going to now try and build up some foam on this area. So I've actually got this expanding foam instead now because um, I had this spare and I thought instead of using the one in the background I'm going to return that one and just use this see how this goes for the time being um, and then take it from there Quick little update everyone I've gone and bought a different um, expanding foam purely because the other one I realised it needed a special type of gun to use it so I'm using this one which has the straw already attached to it so yeah let's figure out how to use this because it's a very different contraption and take it from there. And then from doing that, I believe I should now think I think it's finished. <laughs> So just showing you guys what it's looking like right now. If I do it this way, it might be a better view. So, da da da. But yeah, it's built up quite a fair amount. Um, obviously, I didn't realize it would finish this quickly. So I'm gonna let all of that kind of do its normal expanding foamness happen. And then once that's kind of all dried up, I'm gonna go and get some more. At least now I know I'm going to definitely need another one. Um, I might get two more just so then I have enough to do the front wings and then I'll deal with the rear ones later on once I figure out how to do that. So that's stage one, getting it all prepped up. So everyone, I think that's where I'm going to end this video today. It's, it's going to just basically let that expand right now. Um, once that's all expanded, I might add some more onto it before I level it all off. But I think it's a good moment to end this part because you guys can bit by bit watch the whole fender come together now. So if you do want to follow this, you're obviously more than welcome to subscribe, like, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be uploading more up-to-date content on there. Um, but yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm actually, I don't think it's coming across on here just how excited I am with this because yeah, this is going to literally be, and actually looking at it right now, I can already literally see where I want to take it, how I want the car to look at the end of it. So this is going to be absolutely awesome. So really appreciate all of you guys sticking up 
with me to the end of this part of the video. Sorry for the camera shaking a lot just then. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where I'm gonna hopefully start shaping this one up and building it up and actually developing the front arch. So peace out guys, see you later.